2012 Ford Cougar here for an oil change. Two different brands of filter, both quite different. I think that's the one that's in it at the moment. Um, see which one we use. And new air filter. This is a 2.55 cylinder, similar to the ST but in a detuned kind of state. Uh, it's a Volvo engine. And as you can see, get a light. There's our oil filter down there. Doesn't really fit through that hole. And there's our air filter there. So I'll uh, hook into it and uh, show you how it goes. Here's our, the underside of the car, as you see it's at least as much Volvo as it is Ford, where our Volvo transfer case for the four-wheel drive. It's a conventional automatic, it's not a power shift or anything. Oil cool is also Volvo. Plenty of other bits up there are Volvo too. Anyway, let's drain this oil. Seventy mil from the sump. Money shot. All right, to get to your oil filter, you need to take this intake hose off. Got these ridiculous clips. There's one hidden down here. There we go, hose out of the way, clips all over the floor. Now for your oil filter you need a 36mm socket on a swivel. and a rag to catch it. It's an old filter. It's a Ryko one, so I'll probably put a Ryko back in. Right, first up, we'll swap out our big gasket. filter, click it in, try and get it back in there. And we'll start it by hand because it's only plastic. Tighten her up. 
once it seats, let's do we nip up, not too much. Uh, before we put this back in, we might as well do our air filter. Again, the joys of part spin cars, nothing quite fits as designed, they just cram it in. There's our old one. A oh, genuine Volvo, there you go. Yeah, the new one fits pretty well, the old one's, that top bit's quite dirty. Yeah, got to be better than that one. Bit of debris in there. And you just got to be careful of this latch mechanism there. There you go. What a pig. Right, then you can put your intake hose back in. Yeah, and who designed this? You could take this whole cowling out, but uh, make it even easier. Right now a lot of these plastic clips are now past their best, so I've only got two good ones left, so I'll have to order some more. But in the meantime we'll just secure the bit that, that's not decorative. So our intake's held down, that's a wee bit loose, but we can live with that for now. So we three of those, um, might stick a zip tie in there. Right, back underneath. I'm using a Penrite HPR5 full synthetic, which is a Ford spec oil. Nice bit of mayonnaise on there from short runs. to get it off the ramp. Oh, 
bonnet is open. There we go, that's our oil change on our 2012 Ford Cougar with a 2.5 litre 5 cylinder Volvo engine. Uh, took about 6 litres of oil in the end. I use the Penrod HBR5, uh, it's pretty decent quality oil. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see this one probably next year uh, for another oil change. Got, um, 60,000 Ks at the moment, so we'll see it at 70. Go from there.